of what we take in are never covered. We don't take in enough money for the luncheon costs to cover it. So we always need that little bit of extra buffer in our checking account. So any new members that were joining were paying $10 for the rest of the year plus $30 for next year. That $10 is for the meetings for October, November, and December because we usually did a reduction, so that was the reduction. So if you want that $10 for the rest of the year, you have to pay for 2017 in advance. Uh, we thought we had a new venue at the Clearwater Christian Center, and that has fallen through. They did not want to have the expense of putting up the hanging equipment for that, correct? Barbara? And they, and they don't want to go with just um, nails. The, the, the hanging, you know, the okay. regular picture hanging. Okay. So we, we are looking for some more venues. Um, if anyone has any ideas of what other venues we can use, that would really be nice. Uh, I was given this information. If anyone's, a, some of our stuff is right on the edge of being crafty and artistic, or artisans of fine art. The website called floridacraftart.org is in Pitt St. Petersburg. It is a great resource for crafters who want to exhibit their work. And they meet once a month. So I will put this all in the brush fire, all this information, so you have it right down in your hand. And you could link it up, if you're, especially if you're looking online. Uh, I think that was it. That was it, Mary Ann Tucci. That was what we, you told us, right? The Florida crafters? Uh, yes, it's uh, floridacraftart.org. Okay. Okay, I guess that that's all I have to say. I want to thank Marian Tucci for helping set up. I apologize. I sent her an email yesterday because <laughs> I had computer problems and I put an email out about bringing treats and I put down Marian Tucci's wrong phone number. So I apologize. Somehow I hope we have enough treats for today. Um, so we want to thank Mary Ann and Sharon for setting the beautiful table for us for today. Do we have any questions? Okay, next. Just to say that um, I have the sign-up sheet for, for Marguerite's uh, for um, is it December through Feb and okay. Feb through. Yeah. yeah, the Marguerite's we yeah. do once a month for any new members. Um, does anyone have anything they want to talk about? Yes. And for October and November, we'll be here in Dunedin at the Dunedin Marina. They do charge for parking there, and it is $1.40 an hour at the marina, and uh, they limit you to three hours, but they don't start until 10. Uh, there's right in front of the bathrooms at the Edgewater Park, which is the marina, you get the two hours of free parking. Uh, you're just going there walk. So it's I could not get the machine to, it took my, my, my visa, I mean, I could pay on visa or coin, but it wouldn't give me anything more than one dollar of parking at a time. And I was going to set my alarm on my phone to go back and yeah, try see, to get it to be more. Yes, I can set up this is my last hardship for us. Yes, it is. Maybe we need to bring this to somebody's attention. Yeah. Your commissioners, your people, your, your, your government for uh, Dunedin. Yeah, someone's got a hand up back there. Yeah. You can um, download an app on your phone called Parkmobile, and you can actually pay for it through your phone if you have a PayPal account. And another thing about it is it will remind you like 15 minutes before it's ready to expire. Did you try it yet? I mean, so. I tried it when I did. It was asking me for a three digit code down there this morning, and I couldn't find those three digit codes. I haven't actually tried it. I've used it in St. Peter. Oh, 
Well, we had people, I had people using it at Art in the Park. I saw them come out of their cars on Sunday and they were having no problem with it at Art in the Park. Mm, no, no, they had some problems. Okay. Oh my God, a couple of them just walked away. Oh, you on your side. Yeah. Now, anyone that has a handicap sticker or plates on their cars, you can park for free all day long. So if you have one, bring bring the car that has those plates or that sticker. If you live in Dunedin, go and vote. Yes, yeah. that's exactly. Yeah, I came back to a sign in front of the house that my son owns here in Dunedin that says resident parking only, which means I can't park at my own son's house. So it's a little crazy. Yeah. Your mayor voted against it, just yes, saying. the only one on the commission that voted. Only one who voted against it was your mayor, just, just saying. Jim, did you have something to say? Yeah, I want to remind everybody, if you're still interested in doing inside plain air, <laughs> every Thursday, 6 to 8, down the street here at the Senior Center, we have a model. Did I miss anything? Okay? No. Model sits for 20 minutes on times four, same pose, all right? It's, if you're a, a, a member, if you live in Dunedin and, you, and you've paid your month and your yearly uh, a fee to, to get a discount, it costs you $2 to get in the door. Otherwise, it's $3. Mm -hmm. We have a model. We pay the model $20 each time the model uh, comes uh, poses for us which means we would like to have more models, by the way, if you want to make 20 bucks. Uh, and it costs you $3 for the model. So typically $5 to $6 every Thursday night, right down the street here at the Senior Center, just, just come in the front door and you can find us way back in the corner. Uh, we are now starting to see the snowbirds coming back, which means that we're not into bulk tables yet. <laughs> so we still have a lot of room, but the space can close, close up pretty quick. My suggestion is get there before 6 o'clock to set up and get your, your, your very special spot that you want to paint. But as I said, the model poses for four 20-minute sessions, exactly the same pose. Now the models are all local people, just like you and me. So come on down. Sit for us and bring your art stuff next time and you can join us. Are they clothed or are they nude? They're clothed. At the senior center, uh, there are us old guys who paint there. Uh, they're all clothed. I can do that. My name is Sharon Oisaki and I'm a member of Studio Valley 1212 and we had a great show this past Sunday. It was entitled Hip to be Square, All Paintings, 24, 24 Canvas, one of the big words. And I encourage everybody to stop by the gallery and check it out. We'll be up for another month, at least a month and a half. And it was delightful. We had a great turnout and um, we are open. The third Tuesday of every month, we have the uh, 10 to 12. We're open every Saturday, 10 to 12, so you can stop by. 10 to 2, no, I'm sorry. 10 to 2. Right, and critiques are also the last Saturday of the month, uh, 10 to noon. And we're open every Wednesday, 10 to 2 also. And there are artists there, and we encourage you to stop by. And also, um, if anyone at CAG is interested in, in having a personal show where they'd like to hang, hang work or if a group wants to get together and hang work there, our facilities are available. They're a small fee and you can inquire with our president. Basically, how many pictures can you hang in for a show? Wow. It depends on, on the size. Okay. Really. So between 25 and 50 then? Well, yeah, 50. The, with, the, with the 24 by 24, we had about 22 to 24. Okay. Hung around the gallery. 
We didn't stack them, we kept them so they're, you know, doing very professionally. If the paintings are of different sizes, smaller, larger, then we can accommodate much more. And I know BJ had given me times you guys had open and I don't remember them. I'll, I'll talk to her about that. Yes. Uh, we're located on Cleveland uh, Street. 1400, basically. <laughs> 1400. Yeah. You're welcome. Any other? Lynn? Uh, I wanted to remind you that North Tampa Arts League is having our opening reception at Sterling Galleries this Friday. So we hope if you're walking around, I think it's an art walk. Is that right? So um, I think it's a really interesting show with a lot of diversity mm -hmm. in the art. And I just want to say how helpful the artists at Sterling have been. We absolutely love the space, and uh, they've just been very gracious and very helpful. And, and Polly our show. Like yeah. yeah. Polly, our show is in March, right? Yes, March. Yeah. Oh, good. Good, good, good. And we will be having our show in March. Where? At Sterling, Sterling Gallery. Gallery. ask everybody that came today to make sure that you check in and that you're here because we're, that way we're making many corrections in our addresses, emails, and phone numbers. Also, I will be in November, by the end of November, after the November meeting, I'll be contacting the, all the people that have not been to a meeting in three months, and those are the people I want to contact about having the meetup group. So please make sure to let us know that you came to our meetings. Okay? And that is it. We're going we're gonna to take, oh, Tommy. <coughs> I would like everybody to share my wedding cake. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations, honey. So we're going to have our break, and then we will be face painting after our break. Enjoy. <laughs>